the day. This is a love and career reading for anybody with Aries in their birth chart. Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Rising, and North Node. Love and career for my Aries. Your overall energy was to face shadows, Aries, I felt the need to do a lot of praying before I came into your zone. So, not really sure what y'all got going on, but let's get a message from the divine. Be aware not to be so fixated on your own needs that you are insensitive to the needs of others. This causes unnecessary stress and estrangement between yourself and those around you. The frustration you may feel at the moment is a reflection of your own shadow or those aspects of your nature that are wounded and fragmented. The opportunity for healing your shadow is at hand. Love yourself fully to step back into the light of your heart. Take a breath and give things a break. Be easy on yourself and others. Open your heart. The darkness inside is seeking the light. Allow this. Your divine energy is calling you to recognize your shadow and take responsibility for the pain and misery that it's inflicting upon you and others. There is nothing happening that enough self-love and compassion for all will not relieve. Now is the time to acknowledge your fear and neediness and kindly bring your inner darkness into the light of self-love and acceptance. The divine invites you to accept your shadow compassionately and see it accurately as your wounded inner child asking for more love and support. Reach out for the help you need and be open to receiving love and support without causing drama, anger, fear, resistance, or negativity. You are a beautiful being of light and love, and the rest is an illusion. Believe in your basic goodness and lovability and let love in. So Aries Collective, I'm feeling like you know that you have a shadow side. And so you, you've you been laughing with your demons, condoning basically negativity, negative energy within yourself. And so negative situations are around you. Okay. So what I think you should do is get some rest. And while you're resting, visualize what you want your life to be like. If you visualize what you want your life to be like before going into that other state of mind, you really need to dig deep to love your inner child, regardless what illusion has been put before your eyes at that time, okay? So maybe you used to get whooped a lot as a child, physically disciplined, and you might even cry yourself to sleep. So you're like, why would I think back to them times? You need to go back to those times and go hug your inner child type of stuff. Any type of time that you feel traumatized around or, or not traumatized, but repressed about your childhood, any situation in your dream state while you're resting, you need to visualize your present self giving love to your inner child, to yourself as a child, okay? Let's go ahead and go into your love life and career messages. Universe, love for single Aries collectively. 
messages regarding the love life of single Aries collective. And by single, that doesn't mean you're not in a relationship. That means you're not married. You have not went before God and made a commitment before God to God to love and hold and cherish and recite a box. So if you have not done that, you are single. Messages for the Aries collective that are single, please. All right, so <laughs> right now, single Aries collective, you guys are concerned about what path to take regarding your love life. The universe says positive thinking and faith is what will bring you romance. Okay. To those that are not feeling optimistic about their love life, Please change your thinking to positive thinking and hope will bring you romance. To those that are optimistic about their, you know, their love life and they're thinking about moving in with someone, the, the universe wants you to know that this is a past life relationship. You have known each other before. That's to whoever is thinking about moving in with someone. Now, whether if it's karmic or not, I don't know. Only you would know that. Okay. There's another single um situation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for laughing. But someone that you've been dealing with, um, did steal something from your house. So what happened is somebody here called in a soulmate, but they called in a karmic soulmate. Take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. Make sure that when you are calling in your soulmate, are praying and using affirmations and visualizations to help bring you a divine soulmate. So some characteristics of a divine soulmate would be someone someone into music and poetry and literature and philosophy, right? But their philosophy is of high science and also it abides by the universe and cosmic law. Okay. Yeah, somebody um, no longer wants to be in a relationship with the karmic in the Aries collective. So somebody here is dealing with a karmic that they no longer want to be with. All right. If you don't want to be with the karmic anymore, leave. If you are single and you're calling in a soulmate, make sure you are calling in a divine soulmate, which means you have to also live your life in a divine manner, which means not gossiping, not being a liar, not slandering people, and just not being negative. You know, 
career messages for my Aries collective. Somebody here. Um, Somebody's job gives them a headache. Somebody here wants to work for themselves and be an entrepreneur. Universe, what message do you have for those whose employers gives them headaches? Their work environment gives them headaches. All right. All right, so the universe says, you have to believe in yourself. Move forward knowing that your success is assured. That's actually for who wants to start their own business and also um, whoever has the headache at work. The ones that have the headaches at work, the universe said you need to get clear on your activities that you're doing at work. You need to clarify, um, focus your attention, focus your attention on why you're there at work and ignore distractions. If you are in a leadership position, Contribute leadership quality, and then your, you know, your coworkers or um, the people that you're managing won't give you a headache. Find out what they need. Focus your attention on the task as manager, which does include managing people that are, you know, under you. They give you a headache, then focus your attention on why you're getting getting a headache. Are you distracted talking to other coworkers and you're like, oh, they need my help again? That's not management, you know, integrity, so to speak. So those that are going to believe in themselves and their vision and know that their business is going to be successful, the universe says. You're going to have a lot of challenges on your path emotionally and financially, but keep going. You have to practice gratitude on an entrepreneurship journey. You have to practice gratitude as a daily ritual that's sacred. Feel deep appreciation for your blessings as they manifest more abundance and joy for you. And for both of you all groups also, you all need to make sure you are creating monthly budgets. So whether you're an entrepreneur or you work for somebody or you do both, create new budget this month, all right? And also brainstorm how you are going to exercise physically daily, whether it's take a walk for 10 to 15 minutes. But both of you all need to exercise. It helps your body and spirit stay strong, okay? So somebody here really needs to make a plan on how they're gonna do that. And also to the manager, if you don't clarify your duties and what you're supposed to do, your company is going to fire you and hire somebody else. Maybe somebody about to get a message. No, let me stop. I'm not trying to manifest nobody in fire, okay? I was just playing. All right. Aries Collective. Universe, any other energy messages that you would like me to give to the Aries Collective regarding their love life? Career. Aries Collective.
right. So masculine that is in tune with their emotions and they're undecided about walking away from an emotional situation. The universe says move. God said, move forward. You went within and got a bigger picture and perspective, and now you need to start a new idea as what you're going to do with your money. You already have a sense of clarity, and now is your will of fortune. Okay, whatever you're wanting to go invest in, whatever you're wanting to go invest in, if the Leo involved, that Leo is going to bring you a tower with whatever new investment idea that you and a couple of other people have been talking about. Whatever it is, there is... Oh, there's no love involved. You know, love is the overall divine energy. So, yeah, you may not want to go through with that. It's going to be a tower. So move forward, but not in the direction that another masculine energy, it could be a male or female, right? male or female Leo, they're currently burdened, but they took on some burdens that they willingly took on that burden. You understand? Like a ten of swords is no... Like that's that was like the decision. The wands is more of like the choice, the action. You get what I'm saying? Swords is thoughts, wands are action. So that individual willingly took on the act of carrying burdens and they know that you want to start a three of pentacles idea. And if you do that with them. It's not going to end well. It's not going to end well at all. It's a lot of feminine energy, um, distorted feminine energy around an empress. So Aries, don't do it. Move forward, but not in the direction with that Leo. Okay. So leave off with a believe in your own magic. Believe in your own magic for Aries. Believe in your own magic for Aries. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So collective. Say you are in tune with your emotions. And you have a friend that is an empath and can feel your emotion. That empath is feeding your shadow, which is why the universe wants you to go heal your shadow so other empaths cannot take advantage of you. You will not allow yourself to take on other people's tip on burden. So oh, Aries, you have someone that is feeding your shadow. It could be intuitive, actually it's telepathically. They've studied you and analyzed you and know how your mind works. So telepathically, they're feeding your shadow. Believe in your own magic for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Believe in your own magic for Aries collective. Thank you, universe. Give me one card, please, for the Aries Collective. One card, believe in your own magic for the Aries Collective. You 
Yeah, I'm watching some squirrels. One of them looks like it's potting on the other one. But the one that's being potted on just, you know, eating, eating whatever. And there's one up in the tree like, man, I don't even know that. I don't even know the other squirrel over there trying to see where they got their nuts from so they can get one. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Aries, 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 Aries. Be your own knight carrying your own sword. Carry your own thoughts, okay? That's how you'll get your happily ever after. Feeding into the other impacts they're happily ever after, again, is going to bring you a tower. So think for yourself, God already told you to walk away from whatever it is that you've been uh, an emotional situation. And when you walk away, do it for you, not because somebody told you to, but do it for you. When it comes to healing and recovery, make sure you're doing it for yourself, not for somebody else. Becoming too dependent on other people will only end in disappointment. People leave, friends drift, family members become estranged. Your reason needs to be bigger than them. And believe it or not, you are important enough to be that reason. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve, given that it's best for everyone involved. Right now, the universe, God, Aries, said you need to walk away from whatever situations that you are emotionally feeling tied to with someone that is burdened because they willingly took on some burden. You will not be able to manifest your happily ever after if you're taking on other people's burdens, whether that's love, life, or at work. Okay, those are the love and career messages I have for you. Bye-bye.